<laughs> what is up, YouTubians? Cooter Malo here coming at you with another exciting video. Yes, I'm smiling ear to ear because I am sitting in and finally found a camp chair that will hold up to 400 pounds. This thing is built like a tank. You definitely want to subscribe to this channel. And the reason why you want to subscribe to this channel down there below is the subscribe button is because in the next few weeks, I am going to be doing a whole bunch of great reviews like this of products that are designed basically around camping, backpacking, and hiking. But you could also use them for a picnic in the park. You could also use them for like a concert in the park. If you just want to get out and explore, throw, throw things into your car, at least you have the access and the comfort to things that will make your life easier while you are enjoying those outdoor activities. So let's get into it. Let me show you this chair. And through the magic of television, whoop, we are back. <laughs> this is the Timber Ridge Oversized camp chair. This thing will hold up to 400 pounds. Whether you're a normal individual or an oversized individual, just know that you're getting quality. You're getting durability. It does come at a price though of weight. This th this chair does weigh somewhere in the neighborhood of between 10 to 12 pounds. I will put exact, or I, I will put a link to the product down there below and then you can check out the specifications at your own leisure. But anyways, this chair does fold up like a normal camp chair would. It basically folds in the center. I'll show you an illustration of that in a second. And basically what you get with this is you do get quality and durability. As you can see right there, you got the double stitching going on all the way down the seams. That's kind of nice. There's also stitching in the padding to basically alleviate the stress, right? You've got the pinstripe going on, so that's kind of good. Also, the material itself, on the seat, the back, even the cup holder that comes with it, this little cup holder, is basically, I think it's three layers. There's basically like a poly something or other on top. There's a layer of fill in the middle, right? And then there's another layer on the bottom. So for those cold and chilly nights, it'll keep you warm. And on those hot summer days, it'll basically help the heat go away from you. So it's kind of nice to get the dual purpose there. Plus, I do like the fact that they padded the side frames, right? There is no there is no bar in the middle that will get caught up on your legs. I know there were some people that had commented on other camp chairs that they had explored in the past where there's a bar here that basically cuts off your circulation. Well, guess what? This chair does not have that bar that goes across right here. So thank goodness it's more comfortable to sit and you get the idea. Going over to this cup holder real quick, you can put a hot beverage in here or a cold beverage. It is padded. The padding in the cup holder is a little bit thicker than the padding in the chair. Maybe that's for insulation purposes, hot or cold, whatever your libations are, this will swing out of the way if you don't want it there or you can swing it out when you need it. Boom, there you go. Cool little conversation piece around the campfire. Okay, then basically what you have here is you have a pocket with some Velcro. So if you go ahead and Velcro strap this closed, now what you've got is a big pocket here for like a magazine or something or a pamphlet or a brochure. Like I said, if you're going to concerts in the park and you're doing that whole thing, at least you know you got it. Also, then you have two little small mesh pockets here. You could put a flashlight in here, a headlamp. You could put your cell phone in here. You could put whatever you want in there if you're camping, hiking, backpacking, you get the idea. But basically it's just something nice that you can have as a little bit of storage. And like I said, it comes with Velcro straps. So pull the strap, boop, comes right off. Which brings me to the label. There you go, there's a label under penalty, law, exception, whatever. There's your polypropylene, all new material, you get the idea. And then if we look at the illustration here, you can actually see that the chair does fold up quite nicely, which is pretty awesome, I have to say. Okay, so that's the reason why you want to subscribe to this channel. I'm only halfway through this video, but you want to subscribe to this channel because in the next few weeks, I am gonna be doing a whole bunch of videos and reviews on products like this, products geared towards the great outdoors. I'm taking several trips in the next few weeks, so you'll have to stick around to see those videos. Definitely hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified when those videos come up. Okay, down jacket. How many people out there have tried to find a down jacket for less than $400, less than $300, less than $200, less than $100, I actually found a down jacket. This comes in size small to 4XL, believe it or not. And it actually has the YKK zippers too. I will be reviewing this down jacket on a future video. That's another, another reason why you want to subscribe to this channel. You can already see the name One Tigress. That is an underquilt for a hammock. I will be doing a video review on that coming up in the next few weeks. Also, paracord, it's many uses. We're gonna get into that, how to hang a tarp, right? How to hang an accessory line. If you're outside, you're camping, you're backpacking, you're hiking, whatever you're fishing, you want to be able to like hang up stuff on the paracord. I'll show you how to do that with some mess beaners. We'll get into that later. Also, 
Carabiners, what are they used for? How can you use them to extend the length of your hammock straps? Let's say you find yourself between two trees that are too far apart and your hammock strap doesn't want to go around the tree. I will show you with carabiners. Also, you might've seen it in a future video to this one the, one, the one that was posted right before, of how you can use carabiners to make your hammock straps a little bit longer or to get more use out of them, to also save them, protect them, keep them from you know getting cut up on gnarly trees and that kind of stuff so that's why you want to subscribe to this channel war bonnet i'm sure you can see that label there yes i will be reviewing a further deeper review of the war bonnet blackbird xlc heavy double weight hammock if you want to stick around and check that out that's why you want to be subscribed to this channel hit the notification bell anyways there are tons of videos and content that is coming up in the next few weeks make sure you are subscribed make sure you hit that notification bell down in the description there down below there are some links to some pretty cool products i will try to put links to all this stuff there as i review it as and those links get constantly updated so make sure you check out that description section and lastly in the description section there's a link to my facebook page that's cooter malloy product reviews so make sure to visit that facebook page like follow and subscribe on there if you like what you see anyways i am cooter Malloy telling you about the best camp chair I've ever been able to find. If you stick around and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, I am also going to do another review on a totally different chair that's foldable, lightweight, packable, something that you can bring with you on your backpacking trip. If you're in Southern California, you're doing Mount Langley, you're going up to Yosemite, you're doing a lot of backpacking, trekking, that kind of stuff. I will show you in a future video an awesome chair that holds up to 320 pounds that you can pack up. It's foldable. It's comfy, almost as comfy as this one, maybe if not comfortable, even more so. And I will be showing that to you on a future video. So that's the reason, again, why you want to hit that subscribe button down there below. Anyways, I'm Cooter Malloy, and I will catch you all on the next exciting adventure.